Hello there. Today I'm doing a review of my entire steampunk outfit that I wore for Halloween. And in a minute you'll see a video of me showing you the entire outfit. But up close here is the front, the side, the back, and the other side. So in a couple different videos, I already showed you my crinoline, the jacket, and the skirt separately reviewed. So now I'm just going to show you the accessories I used. Um, first off, I bought a pair of cheek gloves from uh, Orchard Corset, and they were very slippery to use, so I wouldn't recommend getting these like satiny polyester satin type of gloves. I would recommend getting a better quality gloves if you want to be able to hold things without dropping them all night. Um, then I made these like little cog wheel um, earrings with little beads on them. I bought the little cog wheels on eBay and then I just put them together. And I did have some cog wheels attached to an old brass key um, that I originally had on my costume, but the key and the cogs accidentally got thrown out, I think, but I did have another key, so this is what I used to attach onto the front of the corset with the ribbon, and the corset I'm going to do a separate review on. Um, this I thought was really cool. I got this from eBay. Um, it's hard to see in this light, but it's just a little, um, watch and it opens up and it works it's only five dollars very cute and I used it um, on the costume like attached to the buttons and like put in my pocket so it's like a pocket watch and then I have this necklace that I bought at a craft fair that moves around it has cogs and an octopus on it and I thought that was very steampunk and my hat this hat I made from pretty much scratch. I um, At first I was going to try to make the hat pattern myself and I really couldn't figure it out. So I ended up buying a hat from Goodwill. And they, it was like a, I don't really know how to describe it. It wasn't straw, it was some other kind of material, but I ended up cutting it up. So the base of it was the circle and then parts of it I formed into these points at the front and the back and then I just hot glued all the fabric down so the outside got folded up all funky and I hot glued down this gauzy material the feathers here is two feathers and some more cogs the front here this has fallen off a bunch of times and I didn't want to glue it back on right now but that's where it would be and it fits very, very nicely. So this just ties in the back, very simple. I just throw my hair up and there you go. Um, lastly, I have my boots. Probably won't be able to see them very well in this shot, but they're just regular boots. Not There's some mud on them because I wore them around outside. But anyways, they are very comfortable. I got them at DSW Shoe Warehouse. And yeah, um, it fits with the length of my skirt very well. I did that on purpose just so it wouldn't be dragging on the ground. Um, anyways, if you have any questions about my costume, you can leave them in the comments below. And thanks for watching.